Hi, welcome to my channel. We are waiting for the very first time in the year 2019. So I wish all of you a very happy and prosperous new year. So today's chapter is The Rat Trap from Flamingo. Um, I was uh, just uh, trying to uh, consider that this chapter is uh, really, you know, the starting of it is given in the way of, uh, uh, in a manner of fairy tale. So, over to the rat trap flamingo. Now, the first thing we should be keeping in our mind about this chapter is that uh, the setting of the story takes place in Sweden. So, we've come across a few uh, Swedish names, characters. And uh, a word, you know, which is used for Swedish currency, krona, has been also used in uh, this story. So, the rat trap is basically a very positive story trying to convey a message to all of us that world is like a rat trap for all those people, all those men who are over attached to money. So, what we need to understand is that Attachment to money is fine, but over attachment to it leads to chaos. Men who are over attached to money, their condition is similar to the condition of rat attracted by the bait. Bait, B-A-I-T, bait means a piece of cheese or cake or something which is put in a rat trap, a cage to attract a rat. So, Men who are over fascinated by money, they should realize that being mortal, they have to die one day. And it is only the positive qualities like charity, patience and benevolence which can make them immortal. That means if men nurture this dream to live even after their death, then they must concentrate on good qualities like empathy, charity, patience and benevolence. So this beautiful story depicts world as a rat trap where the condition of men over attached to money is similar to that of a rat captured in a cage. So the story starts with the description of a peddler. Peddler is, if you can understand, a person who is a tramp, who does not have any house, who wanders from one place to another, begs and at times, you know, steals. Hunger gleams in his eyes because he's poor. So the peddler or a tramp or the vagabond, all the words mean the same, which means an aimless, homeless person. So the peddler, he basically sells rat traps. For the sake of selling rat traps, he wanders from one place to another. He's a beggar because, you know, rat trap selling does not give him enough money. Many of the times he steals also because, you know, he is happy to cheat men around him because these men, they never show mercy. They never show any charity towards him. So he does not feel any harm in cheating such people. So, rather he feels that they deserve to be cheated. So, many of the times he steals and does not feel any regret, does not have any regret for that. So, one evening he is moving and it gets dark and he is thinking about the world being a rat trap and you know man being over fascinated by money and all that and it gets dark. By the roadside, he sees a cottage, so he decides to seek shelter in that cottage. He knocks the door and to his excitement, you know, and to his amazement, it is opened by an old man who smiles. Smiles at receiving this guest at his doorstep. Actually, the peddler, the tramp, you know, he is so much habitual of scornful looks. Whenever people meet him, they just show expressions of disgust. But this old man who used to be a crofter, crofter means a farmer who depends on a small piece of land and who depends on its produce and also it, it involves buying and selling of uh, land. So the old man used to be a crofter in his uh, days when he was young. He used to work for Ramjo Iron Mill. Now he depends you know, on his cow, Bossy. And he sells the milk of his cow and survive. 
So the old man is so happy to receive a guest because it's been ages he has spoken to anyone. He offers dinner to the peddler. He's a very good host. He's happy to receive this man as a guest. He offers him dinner, then even gives him tobacco. And after that, he plays a game of card for entertainment. And then just to show him that he is uh, really, you know, confident of him, he uh, puts 30 kroner notes, 30 kroner bills, kroners, that is a Swedish currency like dollars, pounds or rupees. So he give, he keeps the 30 kroner notes in a pouch and hangs it on the iron nail in front of the peddler. Peddler is depicted here as the rat as I've told you. A man who is over attached to money. So he uh, notices all that. So next morning both the men get up. And the peddler takes his own way and the crofter takes his own. But after a short while, the peddler returns back, smashes the window pane of the old man and steals his 30 kroner notes and runs away. He avoids the highway just because he, he thinks that, you know, the old crofter must be reporting the entire matter to the police. So he avoids the highway and takes the way of the woods. Soon he's lost in the woods and he thinks that God is punishing him for cheating this old man, the old crofter who was so nice to him. So the peddler is sure that this is his end. Suddenly he hears the thumping of hammer. Ramjo Iron Mill was situated in the middle of the forest and the thumping of iron can be heard from that. It is night time but the blacksmiths they were all working during their night shift. Master Smith was there along with blacksmiths. So the peddler, the tramp or the vagabond, whatever you want to call him, he enters Ramjo Iron Mill because he wants to spend night somewhere and uh, you know he wants rest. He needs a place, shelter. So these uh, blacksmiths and the master smith, they all notice him. But he obviously looks like a beggar because his clothes are all torn, his appearance is uh, shabby, his, uh, you know, mm, rat traps are all hanging around his, I mean, like on his neck. And he obviously looks like a beggar. So they ignore his arrival. And Master Smith and his men continue working. At that time, Iron Master arrives. Iron Master is the owner of Ramjo Iron Mill. Don't get confused between the two characters. Master Smith is the head of blacksmiths and Iron Master is the owner of Ramjo Iron Mill. So he arrives and he notices this beggar, the tramp, the vagabond or we can very simply call him the peddler and by mistake he thinks that he is his old regimental comrade or you know he is his old acquaintance acquaintance is a person whom we know and he thinks that uh, you know somehow this man you know he uh, who was a captain in army once he has become poor and he's fallen into days of penury so the iron master really is full of pity for him and he invites him to come to his house because he wants to help him here you need to understand that iron master is mistaken this is a beggar, he's a peddler, he does not have any connections with army or something like that because it's night time so the iron master is unable to identify him and makes a mistake that he is his acquaintance. So finally what happens is that he invites him to come to his house, the peddler rejects his invitation because he knows that he will be recognized soon and after that, uh, even, you know, the Iron Master tells him that don't be uh, too conscious of your appearance. He tells him that his wife Elizabeth was dead. His three sons were abroad. He was living in his house with his daughter, Edla Wilmanson. So he could surely come to his house. But the peddler goes on rejecting his invitation. So after some time, the sounds of carriages heard and Edla Wilmanson, 
who is a very positive character plays a very important role in the story she changes the perspective of the peddler and changes this tramp this thief into a gentleman she arrives so edla brings a fur coat for the peddler uh in part 1 i am covering up the story till here see you in the next video that is part 2 of this chapter the rat trap